Have you ever been to a place where you have nothing much to do but a lot to experience? This is a story about Vasai, a town much different from any place I've seen. Last time I was here back in 2013, it was my friend Beryl's wedding. Spot me, I am one of the bridesmaids. Yeah, right there. Since her wedding, I had been itching to go back to Vasai. So when Beryl told me I could join her for Christmas, I was already on my way. Just how I had anticipated, Vasai was more than ready for Christmas. They even had a parade where I spotted a Sheikh, Spider Man, and I still don't know why they tied the poor Santa to the car. But it was real fun. And the prep for Christmas was in full swing at the Pereiras. It's a very small community that we have. And we keep bumping into each other at the grocery store, on the road, everywhere. So you won't get this kind of experience ever outside. Unpolluted atmosphere here. Away from Bombay, away from all the hectic... Uh, it's a stress buster kind of a place. We have all our people here all our relatives, entire big joint family that we live in. Kids love it here, we love it too. And I want them to grow up in this kind of atmosphere. To uh, have your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, great-grandparents also. Hello. 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 Merry Hello. Christmas. All the neighbors know us, we know them. So we want to stay here only. So how far is your mother's place from here? Five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes walking. And she said she lives in another <laughs> village. Yeah, that's a different village though. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing that Beryl's father-in-law told me that he is the fifth generation here living in this town. He is born, brought up here. Now he is a grandfather and Craig, Beryl's son, is the sixth generation who was born here. And it's amazing. I mean, this is the house they lived in. <laughs> This is a beautiful uh, representation of the culture that has now developed after so many years. It's very Indian but yet very different in its nature and you can experience it only here. You will not get it even in Bombay. We are a blend of Portuguese cooking, Goan a bit and uh, Maharashtra too. To live on the coast, we have fish every day, fish curries, fish fry. I asked Conwell, Conwell is Beryl's husband, is there anything that you needed to buy when you were a child? He said, yeah, chocolates, which I can understand why. Look there. There are bananas there. Even something as simple as curry pata, everything they grow here in these fields. And food tastes amazing. It's something that you don't get normally because they are growing this and they are eating the, their own homegrown food. Which is of course a luxury that none of us will even imagine that we will have in our lifetimes now. Considering we all come from big cities.
Besides yes. apple, have you ever bought a fruit? <laughs> yes, we do buy. I mean, we we uh, besides the vegetables and fruits that are grown around, we need to taste the others mm -hmm. too. Apples, figs, pomegranates, oranges, sweet limes, the seasonal fruits that you get, we do buy it. Yeah, I love fruits. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. You have grown up around them. Yeah, How so it <laughs> like it. Five years ago, I came here for Beryl's and Conwell's wedding and at that time I fell in love with Sarpotel, Vindalu, the amazing food uh, that I had never had before. So I came back here and I'm so excited. Right now they're marinating uh, pork in vinegar and other masalas, homemade masalas that they have for Vindalu and other dishes that they're going to prepare. This is your pork, chopped and uh, I'm putting ground garlic and ginger paste some vindyalu masala this is 100 grams of vindyalu masala and some salt homemade vinegar how do you make homemade vinegar fermented sugar cane juice The ratio of the spices, I don't know much about them, but I just keep adding them in the curry and uh, it the makes it happens. yummy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll get to know this, uh, the ratio of the spices in which they are used, so I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to get the correct vibe for Christmas in terms of food, people, houses, decoration, the family atmosphere, Vasai is the town to come. People are busy making cribs at various junctions in the town itself. The families are gathering, they are doing community cooking, this greenery, amazing food. I cannot ask for a better Christmas than this. Well, Christmas was taken care of, but then what about? How could I go to Bombay and not eat Vada Pao? Thanks to my friend Amit, I got the perfect spicy roadside Vada Pao I always crave for. And I followed it up with some cool cool lemonade. And if you're in Vasai, do visit Bombay Bakery, the oldest in town. Their chicken puffs are the yummiest you'll ever have and I've been told their khajur cake is quite popular. Balmy weather, great food, wonderful people and amazing conversations. It was a December of lovely memories that will leave me with a smile for a long, long time. <laughs>